Does sea moss help you lose weight? That's right. I mean, I know if you're anything like me, you've seen the ads on the internet uh, everywhere, right, about sea moss, saying it can do a lot of things, but in particular, that it can help you lose weight. But is that true or is it not? Guys, we're going to talk about that today. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. It's good to see you. First thing I want to know is I want to know from you, um, how many of you, by the way, have seen ads for sea moss helping you lose weight? We're talking about sea moss, also called Irish sea moss, other names as well. How many of you have maybe purchased sea moss or used sea moss? And has it helped you lose weight? I'd love to know your experiences. Uh, also, your experiences often do help other people. Please write in the comments if this is you and, and what you've experienced. Uh, once again, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician on-air health expert and video creator. It is good to see you. Now, you guys know I have done a number of videos on CMOS already. I've done a video on uh, the health benefits of CMOS. I've also done a video on the dangers of CMOS. By the way, take a peek at those if you have not seen those already. Um, I will put the uh, link to those videos in the description, also in the comments as well. And just send me a message if you don't see that, uh, the, the links. I'll send them to you, okay? Uh, so let's get started. Does CMOS help you lose weight? That is a zig question of the day. So let's just back up just a little bit. As I mentioned before, we're talking about sea moss, also called Irish moss, Irish sea moss, red seaweed. There's a lot of different names. And first of all, we have to pay our respects to the use of sea moss throughout the years and throughout the ages. Um, sea moss, while it might be sort of a newer fad or trend for us now, actually sea moss has been used for centuries um, in many different nations throughout the world. So for many people, many different groups of people, sea moss is not a new an exciting thing. Sea moss is a way of life or something that they've been doing for a long time. So I want to sort of give that respect to those groups of people, those countries, um, those nations, those uh, cultures that have been using sea moss for a long time uh, because that certainly exists for many. All right. So nowadays, however, the sea moss that we're seeing pop up like in the States and sort of the ads and things are claiming that it does a lot of things. Can it do a lot of things? Well, we know sea moss comes in a number of different forms, right? So you can get it in capsule form. You can get it in the form of a powder. Um, you can get it in the forms of lotions. I've seen gummies. Also, I've also seen sea moss uh, in the form of gel, which actually tends to be a very popular form of sea moss. So, you know, you can, you can use it raw. You can use it in these sort of preformed, you know, um, uh, uh, forms that I just mentioned, okay? Lots of different ways it can be used. Now, one way that it tends to be used a lot is as a, almost like a thickening agent. So one of the things that's really cool about sea moss is that it actually contains like a natural thickener, okay? And this natural thickener, right? So because it, it contains this, oftentimes sea moss is used to thicken different products, whether that's ice cream or soups or stews or I've got, you know, you name it, um, smoothies, okay? So sea moss has actually been used to thicken a lot of things, a lot of food products. So with that said, and with that little bit of background that I laid, you know, once again, it brings me, brings me and brings us back to this question of, all right, well, does it help us lose weight, right? Does it help us do that? Well, we know, as I mentioned, that sea moss in certain forms can be used as a thickening agent, and it can contain some fiber. Now, I'm not saying that all sea moss sort of foods or sea moss containing foods, et cetera, will do this, but it is possible, in my opinion, that, you know, look, if you have a, a food item that's been thickened with sea moss, perhaps you may feel fuller for longer and it may cut down on additional foods that you take in because you don't feel like you need it because you feel fuller for longer. Whether it's because of some of the fiber that sea moss may contain or the fact that it sort of has this natural thickening agent. So is it possible that using sea moss in your smoothies or in some of your foods may help uh, sort of bulk up your foods, provide a thickening uh, of your foods and keep you fuller longer so that you don't crave or want to eat other foods because you feel full? Um, could that ultimately contribute to weight loss? It certainly could, right? Um, but remember that that can happen with other things, other foods that we eat that tend to keep us fuller longer, right? Whether it's whole grains or whether it's fiber filled foods, etc. Okay. We also do know, and I should be very, I just want to be fair about this. There are, there have been some studies done about sea moss um, uh, that suggests that it may contribute to weight loss. However, 
Um, I am a bit skeptical because I feel like those studies, we just don't have enough of them. I want more studies. I want more robust studies. I want more studies done in humans um, to be able to say definitively if that's the case. So I know you're saying, okay, well, what's she saying? Well, I'm saying that, look, in some ways, could I see CMOS helping us uh, feel fuller, eating less other foods and maybe potentially contributing to weight loss? Yeah, it's possible. But in terms of whether CMOS is the gold standard for weight loss, is it going to automatically help you lose weight? I don't think we have enough evidence that says that that's actually true. Now, let me give you a little bit more information before you turn this off because you may not be happy with what I said, or maybe you are. I don't know. You'll let me know in the comments. Keep in mind that CMOS is um, not necessarily the most regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. That's the case when it comes to supplements and uh, things of that nature. None of them are really uh, that tightly regulated by the FDA. And so that can leave some loopholes and leave some questions that we have. Uh, also, CMOS is not the most studied. We don't have a lot of studies uh, and a lot of data about CMOS. But let me also say that there's also potential dangers to CMOS. And that's what I talk about in my video about potential CMOS dangers. It is possible with CMOS, just like almost anything in this world, to take too much of it. Uh, remember, CMOS is harvested from the waters. Uh, it can have and contain heavy metals, which can be potentially very, very harmful. That is not something we want. Also, CMOS is a really great source of iodine. But with that said, you can actually get too much iodine from CMOS. And not everybody should be taking CMOS because of the potential effects of iodine on the thyroid and other parts of the body. You really have to talk to your doctor about this, okay? Also, as I said too, you know, CMOS supplements and things like that, just like many other supplements, is not entirely uh, regulated by the FDA. You should know that, okay? So once again, um, when it comes to weight loss, as a family physician, a physician who treats a lot of patients um, and talks to a lot of my patients about supplements and things like that, you know, what is my wish for you in terms of some of the best ways to, to lose weight? Um, I say it's a healthy, balanced diet with exercise. That is my best bet and my suggestion for weight loss. Also cutting out processed foods and, and sort of highly fatty, uh, you know, calorie laden foods, minimizing snacking and things of that nature, I think is really, really important for weight loss. There are many, many other weight loss strategies. I think those things are absolutely the sure bet. I think if you're interested in trying CMOS, you know, many people have, you might have as well. You're going to let us know in the comments. If you're interested in trying CMOS, you got to talk with your doctor first to find out if it's something that makes sense with the other medications you're taking, maybe other supplements you are taking or have been prescribed, and your underlying medical conditions. Uh, but for those of you who have tried it, let me know in the comments. What have you thought? Has it helped with weight loss for you? Um, you know, again, I think the verdict is still out on this, but I want to know. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on our health expert and video creator. Please let me know what you think about this video. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell for updates as well, and consider joining my subscription groups on both Facebook and YouTube. Guys, I'll be back soon. I'm Dr. Jen.